guys welcome to my channel um, it's Sabrina at Mama Misses and Me um, you would have seen from my previous video um, or earlier on in this video because I'm not sure how much footage that I've captured doing um, a spring sort of B&M look around um, they have some fantastic goods um, and you would have seen all of that footage either in my previous video or literally just before this clip but here we are at the good bit and I'm about to do a haul. So I'm just going to show you the things that I picked up. I did pick up quite um, a few bits and it was a range of things from things for the kids, homeware, my daughter, my teenage daughter picked up some bits, um, food and drink items, all of those sorts of things. And then I'll give you a little bit of information about the home bargains that I actually went to because it's quite a new store, particularly for South London because um, we didn't have one in the South London area for quite a long time. Um, and I was really, really impressed, to be honest. So, starting with what's right in front of me. Um, this is a grey folding ottoman. It's one of these storage benches. You won't be able to see the um, picture here, but it's a lid. It pops up and it's one of those benches that you can put in a room, a living room. My daughter's going to be using this in her bedroom at the end of her bed. And you can use it for storing blankets, cushions, pillows, toys, um, whatever it is that um, suits your fancy, whatever it is that you need that extra storage for. Um, how much was that? That was $16.99. So actually quite a bargain. And it is linen, so it's actually really good quality. Cat life, trying to film this on a Sunday afternoon with everyone in the house, especially when I took the kids shopping with me is a little bit crazy but i do want to kind of show this to you and get it all packed away so the next thing is an easy click lock um lunch box it's a little bit in the style of a bento box so it's got different compartments inside um so that you can separate your different snack or lunch items um click lock lid so there shouldn't be any spillages and things like that a really nice sort of sage green color so we got that I then picked up some um, summer fruit waters. Um, I've stopped buying bottled water for the household because we have um, a virgin, um, what's it called, filter, water filter that gives you instant hot and cold water filtered. But um, my five-year-old, I'm really struggling to get, keep him hydrated and get him to drink normal plain water. So I got some of these and this seems to be doing the trick. So I got two of those added. Um, I picked up, oh, on the theme of beverages, I picked up um, a pack of 10 cans of Coca-Cola. Don't judge me, I'm absolutely addicted. Um, and I just thought, instead of constantly having to go to the corner shop and get a can, I'll just have some in the fridge. Um, this nice little um, vanity makeup case, pencil case with a P for my daughter's name, Phoenix. Um, pink with gold zip, that was really sweet. It's a corduroy. Um, type of material but you could use that for storing makeup makeup brushes pencils art supplies hair pins hair bubbles bits and bobs so um, multi-usage and that was really nice the next thing i picked up was um, a pack of 28 um bold all-in-one washing tablets um what scent is this this is pink blossom which i love i'm not a fan of the lavender one um, but i do like that scent Easter crazy. You would have seen from the clips um, previously, they had a huge Easter section. If you want to prepare for an Easter egg hunt or just do Easter decor or an Easter breakfast or whatever it is that you're doing with your um, family or your kids or your little ones, um, loads of decorations, loads of really nice Easter decor and loads of Easter eggs around. Um, I had the two little ones with me in the trolley and we couldn't go past without getting them something to keep them quiet. So I got them a Cadbury's Dairy Milk Buttons Little mini Easter egg um, there, but they had a huge selection of every single Easter egg under the sun. The next thing that I got was this um, water bottle. It says 2,000 mils. So I think that's two litres. Um, and on this side, it says, um, let's go drink up. And it's got the different um, timings to kind of keep you motivated to keep drinking throughout the day. But it's a good size um, two litre bottle with um, a handle. Um, and I just use that as motivation to take to the gym with me, to have on my desk when I'm working from home. 
um, encouragement to kind of drink water. You would have seen from one of my previous videos that I haven't done a January New Year reset because I just wasn't ready for it. But now that we're hitting February, I kind of don't have any excuses. So um, keeping really hydrated is on one of my um, sort of goals lists or, you know, things that I need to kind of, habits I need to build on and develop. So I really like that and I really like the handle. Let's have a look at the lid. Clips down. Don't push it. Sorry, don't know. Push it at the bottom. Push what at the bottom? Oh, sorry, you push out the bottom and it flicks up and it's got like a sort of rubber, sucky straw um, mouthpiece. So yeah, really happy with that. Um, I've got two toilet papers. These are enriched with lotion and fragrance. Um, they do smell nice, not that your toilet paper needs to smell nice. Um, it's all biodegradable and all of that sort of stuff, so we'll give that a try. I just wanted to get a few extras for each of our bathrooms. I picked up this um, s'mores kit. It's a little gift set. It says there's always room for one s'more, and you get a hot chocolate mug, you get the s'mores crackers or biscuits, you get some chocolate and some marshmallows. We recently got a um, fire pit for our garden for like the autumn season. So toasting marshmallows and making s'mores um, is something we want to do. But actually, when I bought it, we never got around to doing that, which is the reason why that I did it. So when I saw this as a one little mini kit, I thought, hmm, that's motivation to actually get the fire pit lit as um, the evenings are getting brighter and a little bit warmer and we can start using the outside space again. The next thing that I got is this West Lab Sleep 100% natural bath salts. It's um, Epsom and Dead Sea mineral salts. Epsom salt's really good for you. If you're in the gym and you're doing that new year, getting in the gym fitness thing, um, if you've got DOMS or muscle um, soreness and things like that after your workouts, um, laying in a bath of, um, or soothing your muscles in um, Epsom salt bath is really, really helpful. And it's really good to have. They also have the magnesium salts as well. And magnesium is really good to absorb into your skin and all of those sorts of things. It has lots of good, um, um, multiple health properties is what I should say but this one's good and it, was, it wasn't just that they had the plain Epsom salts but this one was lavender, jasmine and valerian um, scented so I'm going to try those out and that seems like it will be really relaxing on the theme of sports and fitness um, this was a 4kg um, kettlebell it's a good weight it's not too light, it's not too heavy um, but I thought I'd be good to have this at home, it was about $6.99 so I couldn't leave it behind um, but I do like to have a range of different home fitness equipment and again motivation for my new year reset even though it's delayed bath products again we've got the Nivea um, caring shower cream orange and avocado oil um, shower gel it's nice and creamy and it's got lots of um, like it's got avocado oil in it so it's really soothing on your this is a pink loofah or body puff thing um, my daughter picked that up I'm sure that was about a pound Dove soap um, live by these so I just got a pack of um, six bars that can go across the two bathrooms um, we've got the boys each a pair of um, pepper pig goggles so these are like toddler size um, we take them swimming to our um, health club every Friday um, and Zane in particular is getting really brave at swimming underwater um, and so it'd be good for them to have these and see whether they, I don't know if they'll keep them on but good to have um, also for um, approaching summer holidays and things like that as well they had quite a few snack bars so I've got the Cadbury's brunch bars you know when you just want a sweet treat just having something in the cupboard that isn't too overindulgent there's five bars in there to be fair I just went into Sainsbury's and also bought another packet of those because they have been one up for £12 um, and then um, I went and got a pedicure on Friday and um, you know when they use like the greater thing on your skin i'm just really not into that i really feel that over time it makes the skin on your feet um drier and my feet are actually in pretty good condition and are mostly quite soft but the lady did suggest um if i don't like the graters getting one of these um pumice sponges that you can they're sort of hard and you can just make sure you smooth 
um, your feet and look after them. And then I've got this one, which is just a foot care thing that opens up and it's got different surfaces to kind of keep your feet smooth. So both of those um, were really cool. Perfect the gum, at the tilt. In the Easter section, we discovered um, a whole host of soft teddy bears and things like that and we saw peter rabbit so um my youngest my four-year-old mason is absolutely obsessed with peter rabbit he's had peter rabbit themed birthday parties he watches all the films he's got all of the soft toys the smaller ones but this was a big one that he could really cuddle on he's really into soft toys so i had to let him have that it's a bit of an early easter treat but just because it's his his favorite character Let's try and tidy up as we go along. Um, cleaning products now. So moving on to toilet cleaners, we've got the Blue Power Active Gel in scent flowers. I also got another one in lemon. I'm going to split those across um, both bathrooms, same as come to join us, um, and see Ooh. which scents that I like on the most. Sit with Phoenix for me, please, eh? Sit with Phoenix. There's nothing else in here for you. Go and sit with Phoenix. Put him on your lap. Okay. So I also got some um, black carpet because it's really brilliant at um, getting rid of any lime scale that's in your toilets and making sure your toilets are always sparkly white. Um, not the nicest scent, so um, that's why I got these ones because they actually say perfume fresh, um, air freshener effect on them actually. So in terms of making your toilet and your bathroom smell nice, that would be that. I've got some white vinegar, which is good for cleaning windows and um, it's got a whole host of uses, cleaning out your sink, all sorts, giving a really good shine. I also got some white vinegar because that is really good for cleaning windows. Um, cleaning different surfaces, a lot of home use purposes and um, giving things a really good shine. I've got the Mrs. Hinch um, Lenore um, scent boosters. These are frosted eucalyptus. I've seen these everywhere. If I'm honest, when I pick them up, I expected this to feel heavier. They, it feels really light, like you're going to do a couple of loads of washing and then it's going to be finished. Does it say how many washes this should cover? No, it, it, it tells you how much of a dose or how much of the lid you should um, fill up. I'm sure it does last, but these are quite expensive. They did have them on offer in um, Home Bargain, so that is a good place to go and get your home cleaning products because that is the cheapest place I've seen them. These are usually, you know, four pounds. They are sometimes on offer. Even in the pound shop, they're quite extortionate. Um, you can smell through it and it smells really nice. Um, and they've moved to the cardboard packaging. So I'm really pleased that um, cleaning companies are starting to think about that. Some good old, the pink stuff. This is really good for cleaning your grouts, for getting stains off of surfaces, for all sorts of different things. Um, cleaning trainers, all sorts. So the pink stuff there. I've got some, a pack of microfiber cloths. They were about 80 pence. Um, if I can link any of the prices them in the description below um then i'll try to but if not let's get down to home bargains because like i said anything that i've picked up is a really reasonable price pack of five ballpoint um a pack of five black ballpoint pens because even though we are currently filming in the office slash the front living room no one can ever find a pen in this house um we have these little mason drinking jars because my daughter thinks that she's an iced coffee queen and um, that is what she bought. And she was meant to pay for this herself, but she sneakily snuck it into my um, section of paying. And then finally, I got some um, dishmatic um, replacement heads because um, I noticed that I needed some of those on my dishmatic in the sink. Uh, one more thing, some herbal essences, coconut conditioner, because I actually really like that for um, my hair. Um, the other thing that I got was a Transformer toy and also a Sonic the Hedgehog toy. They were about um, 12 pounds each, 10 to 12 pounds each. The toy section you will see from um, my previous video or earlier on in this clip um, 
early one in this video, sorry, um, is absolutely amazing. So we went to the brand new um, or recently opened Time Bargains in Wimbledon. It's actually more on the borders of um, Wandsworth and Wimbledon. Okay, so not dead into Wimbledon on the outskirts. So if you are coming from South London, if you're coming from like Streatham or Tooting or Wandsworth or Southside, those sorts of places, it's really, really close and really easy to get to. It has a huge car park. It has a home and garden center in it. Not like a huge sort of garden center. It's got just different elements that you can pick up things for your garden. I don't see seeds and things like that, but like furniture and odd bits that you can do to pretty up your garden, that sort of thing. Um, a little bit B&Q style when you go into the garden section of B&Q and there are odd bits you can get for your garden. Um, loads and loads of aisles, loads of kids stuff, loads of baby stuff, nappies on um, offer, um, beauty products, the Mother's Day um, range was fantastic, they had a really lovely Valentine's range, um, the Easter um, range was absolutely beautiful, loads of um, homeware, storage baskets galore, galore. pyjamas, clothes, hoodies, um, slippers, bathroom um, things, um, they had a pharmaceutical area where you could pick up all of your common medicines and like cowpole and paracetamol, neurofen, vitamins, all of those sorts of things. And each aisle just went on and on and on. Every time you turned down an aisle, you was like, oh, there you go. It was very easy to go in there and with an idea of only picking up a few things and as you can see, leaving with a whole host of different things. But I do really like the fact that Home Bargains has everything under um, one roof. Um, not sure what is going on in B&M and those stores, but we'll go and check that out for you and see what amazing spring finds that we can see. Thank you so much for watching this video. Apology from the interruptions from children and potential noise in the background. It is Sunday afternoon. Um, please come back and visit us for more.